What's good at y'all? Alex Love Hall, the fighting gamer, and we're back at it again with another episode of the Jin Kazama Timeline. Today's video is going to be about Tekken 6. When I was younger, I'd say maybe 20, I think it's like what, when did this game come out? 09? 010? 010, Jesus. 2010? I don't know when this game came out anymore, but this is the game I got used from, I think, GameStop. This is the one game where I was like, you know what? Let me get back into Tekken because I had owned, I I'd played Tekken 4 and 5, but I never owned them for real. This is the first Tekken I think I owned and I was like, okay, let me actually start to learn how to play this game because I was learning how to play Street Fighter 4 at the time and I was learning how to play, I think, I don't know if Street Fighter 3 the Online Edition came out at the time, but if it did, I was learning how to play that. I was learning how to play Street Fighter 2 HD and I was learning how to play Marvel 2 just at higher levels, right? So I was like, let me try to give Tekken a shot. I, I didn't really play it that much, right? Because that was definitely, that was back when I was a Capcom head. And don't let anybody fool you now in 2024, most of the fighting game community was Capcom centric. I don't know why we're trying to rewrite history. Like everybody was not all about Capcom and focus on Capcom and only cared about Capcom games because that's, that's what it was. But that's a whole nother video. Let me stay focused. <sighs> specifically about Tekken 6 there's a combo mechanic called bound and me personally I don't like playing Tekken when there is no combo mechanic because me personally the juggles are cool you can still do those same kind of juggles in Tekken 6 onward but they add a nice little layer they, like the bound and the screw and all that adds a nice little solid layer of fun to the offense I love combos right who doesn't love combos and without combos, Tekken is a very punish heavy, neutral setup sort of game, which again, there's a place for it. I don't think you should get rid of that, but I just prefer the way that combo mechanics add a certain flair to Tekken that just doesn't exist without it. This version of Jin is more in line with the version that you're probably used to in Tekken 7. So his back three is similar, his four, his magic four is a little bit similar. He has back two one, things of that nature. You know, he has sense stance, which is kind of similar to what he had before, but it's a little bit easier to use. So this version, I was more used to actually playing compared to like the Tekken 5 or God forbid the Tekken Tag 1 version. I don't, we're not even gonna, I'm not gonna talk about the validity or how strong those characters are. Cause I, again, I don't know enough about those games, play them enough to talk about it like that. But just based on what I know and how fun the character actually is just to use in the play. Nah, I gotta be honest here. Right now, I think I prefer Kyokushin Jin over Mishima Jin. And just overall, I gotta say, the vibe of Tekken 6, it doesn't, it doesn't hold the same weight for me. Like, it feels very muted. It feels very like, we're making a Tekken game for the next gen, and there's not a lot of love into it. You know what I mean? Like, this, some of the stages are cool. Like, I like the, the forest stage, and the forest music is fire. Don't get me wrong. And the waterfall stage looks kind of cool, you know what I mean? And the sky stage, it has a nice light color to it and the different backgrounds and like kind of ruin-esque vibe that's going for it. It's cool, right? But overall, the game just doesn't... Like when you look at Tekken 4, that game has a has a vibe to it, has a look to it, has a tone to it. When you look at Tekken 5, you can tell they had love and passion for it. When you look at Tekken 6 and in the future, especially Tekken Tag 2, it's just like... I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We struggling out here. We need some money. That's Tekken Six is like we need some money kind of game, right? And it's just like it, it don't really don't really hold the same amount of weight. The colors look a little off. I don't know. I'd have to look at it again. But I just wasn't feeling Tekken Six overall compared to Tekken Four and Five and Tag One and Tag, you know, and, and Tekken Three. Those games just had a better ident identity about them than Tekken Six does. This one isn't necessarily more of the game, but this is more of something for me, right? So at the end of the game, at least end of the arcade mode, you get to fight Jin Kazama, right? And I'm a Jin main. And if you saw my Tekken 8 ghost battle mode, it was just me fighting a computer Jin who was at my skill, if not better. You get to Tekken 6, again, I'm on very hard mode. It was very reminiscent of a ghost battle, right? Or a character action game, it was like a rival fight, like a, a Raiden versus Jet Stream, Jet Stream Sam. Dante versus Virgil, a Sonic versus Shadow, a Red versus Gold, I think his name was. I don't play Pokemon like that, but you know what I mean. Yugi versus Jade, just a rival fight, right? Being able to do that, being able to have that moment where I had the computer who was able to like just pretty much throw and parry out whenever he got, was able to block my lows, was able to launch me 
you know, whenever he got the chance. Sometimes he would just not do anything, and sometimes he wouldn't finish his combo. But other times he was actually really on my shit, like he was able to actually hit me on the on, on the lows, and he was able to mix me up. There were other moments where I had to watch him parry, so I'd be like, okay, he's gonna do this, let me react to it like this, or let me use my mids in a certain way, and then let me see what they're gonna do and then react accordingly, or let me use my 4-4 four to, four to set up, that way he can't just cover the space all day, and then if I get a counter hit, go for this, or okay, I see he's gonna do this move, let me sidestep punish him for a launch. Now granted, I don't know the combos, I don't know none of that compared to like another game, but just the fact I was able to see those moments and learn how to adapt to my opponent again in real time and learning how to put all the pieces together like I was just talking about earlier really helped solidify this game as one of the most fun journeys I've had because that whole fight I, I was never mad well that's a lie I definitely was mad a few times but I wasn't like oh I hate this game I hate this moment this is cheating blah, blah, blah. but it was just more like damn I'm really getting cooked out here and or someone's like, ah, I messed up, or oh, okay, I did good that round. You know what I mean? It was it was a very nice way to end the in end the game, and I and I wish that that was the end of the arcade mode, because after having to do that rival match, and I was just learning, watching, losing, and then having to win, that was satisfying. Azazel was the worst. That was the worst boss ever. That guy sucked. If you fought the boss. If you haven't fought the boss, I highly recommend you not to do it. It was no fun. I had no fun playing that. That I didn't I didn't beat I didn't beat this arcade mode. I quit on Azazel. I gave it like a few tries, maybe like half an hour to an hour. Cause remember at this time I had recorded Tekken 4 to Tekken 5 to Tekken 6 back to back to back same night. So I was like, bro, I can't do this no more, right? This one is just literally just a nonsense. I, I don't even understand how this was supposed to happen. I don't. I so wait. So how did? What, huh? What what changed between now and the last round that I couldn't hit him? Fine. What? So what changed between then and then? Just tell me game. What changed between What changed between then and then that I couldn't hit you? What changed? Like his armor didn't make any sense. I didn't understand how his armor worked. He was way too big. No normal Tekken character I'm gonna fight on Tekken 8 online in like a few weeks is gonna be that tall. So what's the point? I don't I did like I said I didn't understand how his armor worked. I didn't understand how his moves worked. He was just able to do things I didn't understand how to even approach the fight because I couldn't couldn't stun him but then think other things I could launch him so at some point I just started spamming forward forward two and forward four and then I really just started spamming forward forward two because I was like why not just demon's paw just wait demon's paw wait demon's paw sometimes I'd be able to hit him on the wake up sometimes I wouldn't sometimes I get lucky and get him launching other times I would it just it sucked it wasn't fun it was a very disappointing way for me to end especially after that gin fight I was just telling y'all about if the Jin fight helped me understand that my own lack of wave dashing experience, electric knowledge, how to play the game, what my moves are, what my best strategies were, you know, frame data. If that Jin fight taught me that that was one of the main reasons why I wasn't having fun and that was kind of on me to fix it and that was like my responsibility, I just had to say, you know what, Azazel, you're just not worth trying to beat you right now because I can't do it or I'm not gonna say I can't do it, it's that I don't want to keep trying to do it after I spent three hours playing hard Tekken and I got to make these videos in time. So I was like, you know what, man, it's, it's okay. I, I am an okay person and I am worthy of everything that's supposed to come to me and I'm still, you know, all that sort of stuff. And just because I did not finish this arcade mode and did not beat Azazel does not make me any less of a YouTuber because that while I was, I was really feeling that, but I just decided against it for my mental health. I'm not about to keep doing that. So that's pretty much all I got for Tekken 6. Honestly, it's it's a pretty forgettable game in the, the grand scheme of things. Like it's cool, but this and the next game, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, are two of the games I either don't go back to or didn't play a lot of. Especially in Tag 2's case, I really don't want to go back to that game. But we're going to get more into that when I get to that video. So, again, this is Alex Lovehall, the fighting gamer. And if you spend 1% today, you're going to get to 100% tomorrow. 
I'll catch you on the next video.